on that. That's just it's simply that easy. But uh, we're going to be getting into our first game here. Uh, again, Beast Mode Paul playing the hero. We got Spiro, Spiro? Spiro playing Palutena. Uh, should be fun. Going to be starting off here on PS2. One, go. Yeah, uh, Palutena, the character that has been somewhat talked about because of the recent nerfs, I would say. But if anybody had anything to say about that was Chag this past few weekends ago where he just demonstrated Palutena has definitely still got the, some of the strengths that you'd have to understand that even with the nerfs, she's still very strong. Oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, Chag is definitely among the elite, uh, one of the best in Mexico. I think whenever MK Leo wasn't showing up, it was Chag winning tournaments. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure how he does against uh, against Meister, but um, I mean, yeah, he's, he's like number three in Mexico. We would take, take all of them into consideration, but fantastic player. But right now, man, uh, we got Beast Mode Paul putting on a lot of damage. Spiro not really able to get anything going here. Oh no, and that forwarder. You have to really watch out with that forwarder, just particularly because it's a little bit delayed than you would be used to. It starts off a little slow, but it'll sneak through you in terms of frame data, so that's good for Beast Mode Paul to get on. Honestly, this man is not afraid to go Beast Mode. Watch the directional air dodge. Of course, that one has a lot of lag, and Palutena is still with a very strong back air. Okay, there we go. Gonna try and get an additional up air, but just a little bit of damage. You know, looks like Spiro's starting to get a little bit of something going here. Um, I don't know if you like sealed the snooze uh, initially and roll back. I don't know if you can still get caught into that, but uh, it seems like they didn't. So I guess that's a thing. <laughs> right? You have to be really careful if you want to be the one that actually roll and lose your invincibility frame or like worry about the frames in which you might get caught by sleep. But nonetheless, Spiro has such a lead, or not even a lead, looking to try to get something going here. 97% and Beast Mode Paul has got bounce activated, so anything like Explosive Flame or even Auto Radical would have definitely been a problem, but not anymore because that's gone. Yeah, but the other side of it is using, um, using, uh, I already forgot what it's called. <laughs> the, the Reflect. Uh, the other, right, the other right, side right. of... Yeah, yeah, the other side of having that out is just that it eliminates it from your menu for as long as it's out. So even if you're fighting against a character that doesn't have a projectile, every time... Whoa, got a little lucky with that whack. Oh. Every time um, every time that menu comes up while that's active, you don't have to worry about seeing it again. So it allows you to kind of manipulate the RNG aspect a little bit. Right, and that's what you're kind of looking for. It's like playing a deck of bad cards and you only have a few good cards. You want to throw the bad ones away as soon as possible. And honestly, picking for some of the worst... I wouldn't even say not even the worst, but just some of the lesser options for Heroes RNG might prove out to be his benefit. Mm -hmm. right. Ooh, dash attack not gonna be able to kill. Uh, I think oh. the dash attack had a had a nerf recently too. I don't know if it's a knockback or whatever, but uh, it definitely was a thing. But finally gonna get on the board here is Spiro, but Beast Mode Paul still in the driver's seat. Yeah, he's got the same pretty much almost on full gear with two whole stocks ahead, and Spiro looking to finally get something here. Neutral air, not enough. Oh, but definitely 46% on Beast Mode Paul. Uh, damage to be done for sure. And it's going to be up to Beast Mode Paul to like understand. Palutena is still very strong. What a tech chase there. Immediately using that really strong fully charged neutral special. Yeah, very, very good option. Uh, it's definitely something he'll be looking for pretty often. Uh, he'll do it on Town and City on the middle platform as well. Uh, so if you, uh, if you get hit, if you get popped up, you're landing on that platform, either make sure you land your tech or be ready to roll immediately because that fireball's probably coming right after you at a higher percentage. All right, good stuff avoiding the snooze. Dash attack will beat out the air. I'm sorry, spot dodge. Down to a forwarder. That's such a classic thing, man. We even saw that, I believe it was this past weekend with Palutena and Chad. Where it's just that down tilt forward air is still a thing, and you have to really be cautious because of how that works off the ledge. Right. But okay, right now, man, Spiro's starting to make a bit of a comeback. Beast Mode Paul in a little bit of trouble here. Okay, there we go. Gonna land with that Nair, try to get Spiro away from the ledge. Both of them on stage to see if we can get that first opening. The Nair not gonna be able to convert anything else out of it, though. Oh, poor Till as well. No way. No way. A three stock, a reverse 3 0. <laughs> a reverse yeah. three stock, no, not 3 0, excuse me. A reverse three stock. Spiro's gonna find a way to take game one. That's actually kind of insane. That goes to show the dedication and the mindset that Spiro has as a player to, you know, not give up on the play, you know? That is a very much a, like, I blinked that I missed it because I looked over to my screen for like, off my screen for like a cool second. The next thing I know, yeah, what was originally Beast Mode Paul's game to win all became Spiro's game to steal. And honestly, like you said, it's. He had the will to persevere, and honestly, that's half the battle. And if you're able to keep that going and have that strong mindset, you can bring things back with your against your opponent. Mm -hmm. 
Well, let's see if uh, Beast Mode Paul can recover because, man, that's that's got to be a bit, like, discouraging when you <laughs> you get reverse restock like that. Um, let's see if they can find a way to, to turn this around because, boy, that, that sure was tough. Yeah, it was a little tough indeed, but you know what? You got to shake it off and keep your nerves away and try to come back towards the game here. Down throw, back air, and already immediately Sparrow's looking to see this. Blood in the water almost answered, but the immediate use of, uh, I believe, swoosh, uh, which is the fully charged up B. We'll be able to, you know, kind of have them the opportunity to come back on the stage. Right. Okay, there we go. We got the bounce on deck here. Uh, just, you know, so it eliminates the possibility of a few projectiles from Palutena. But again, it's just kind of to get rid of the option in menu. But man, Spiro not really caring. Oh my god, almost getting the spike out of that. All right. Spiro looking to fight it. Was looking to fight himself towards the end of stage. This is going to be a back throw for stage positioning here and set up. I was going to say, I might be seeing neutral air run off the, from the stage or maybe an explosive flame, but still you have to commend the idea there coming off from Spiro because he has a little bit of a lead, but not so much forward throw and Beast Mode Paul slowly back in the game oh. and the, oh, the less jump back air beating up the Kasush. Yeah. Okay, well, let's see if Beast Mode Paul can find a way to answer back. Take this stock back as quick as possible. No, going to eat a little bit of damage here. 26% after a couple of nares. That's something you don't want to do with. Oh, that's the crazy <laughs> Man, I always forget that has, like, such a vacuum hitbox that when I finally see it happen, it just amazes me of how big that is. Are we going to get a heal in here? Still not going to find a way to take the stock, though. That's kind of unfortunate. Oh. All right, there we go. Forward air meeting Spiro out uh, off stage. Going to take out that first stock. Only down by 56%. This could turn around very quickly. Yeah. Neutral air. No much of a conversion from there, but a whiff grab here. And Spiro looking to slowly kind of keep the distance. And I think for Spiro, just understanding, I was going to say, understanding that you have most of the lead, it's going to be Beast Mode Paul who's making those approaches. You can definitely look to snuff him out because he doesn't have that great frame data compared to Palu or Sheik or any of those great right, top tier right. characters. Okay. Oh, man, yeah, this is definitely getting a little bit nerve-wracking, though. Oh, my God, going for the stock right there with the up smash. But Beast Mode Paul being all the wiser to not get caught up into it. <laughs> oh, okay. no, that is such a rough gamble. I mean, if he did land it, it wouldn't even things up entirely, and it wouldn't even uh, wouldn't even have been a bad trade. Oh, no, he's definitely just top deck stuff now. All right, what's the option here? It's a, I was, I was going to say, that's a really rough top deck because you pretty much are losing a little bit of your neutral to your opponent. But nonetheless, none of the, the only thing that was lost here was Spiro's stock with Beast Mode Paul's amazing read on that. Mm -hmm. Look at that, 25, 40% already looking for the level 2 option on the Fireball. I forget what that one's called, but still, that would have been devastating. Potentially stock ending. Uh, it's, it's really strong, actually, considering the fact it's not fully charged. All right, no, no dice with the snooze, but I still like that Beastman Paul always looks to throw it out. Great job having Sizzle out there. Pretty fast, kind of hard to react to. Spiro still on the hunt. Neutral, only getting a neutral, no full completion here. But great to use the explosive flame to kind of call out Beastman Paul to come back towards the stage. Crackle Slash, I was going to say, you have to be careful with things like Crackle Slash and Hatchet Man, because looking at how we had such a strong showing from Japan, you have to know this character's got some sauce if you're not ready for it. For sure, for sure. Oh, okay, there we go. Gonna just get the side B to put him off stage. Such a great move. Oh, I thought they were gonna be looking for the forward air. Not gonna be able to find it. The big dash attack through one of the, uh, the fireballs, I'm pretty sure. A little bit of a heal, but unfortunately, you're too off on the sides of the stage. Oh, oh no, Beast Mode Paul. Yeah, he was looking for the, um, uh, I think the zoom off stage. The zoom does pop up a bit more.